Hello everybody and my name is Sam and I am a video game reviewer and I hope you enjoy this review of Plants vs Zombies. It's the opposite way around. It's, it's meant to say Plants vs Zombies but it's just like it says like Neil Drag Erafero. Yeah. Right. Right, Plants vs Zombies Golden Warfare is a pretty good game like the types of plants and zombies are pretty awesome like the pea shooter for example he is a full-on attack or well, not really actually he is he's a full-on attack character he has a chili bomb which is like a grenade of some sort and then he has a hyper jump that can make him run and jump faster and then there is a P Gatlin, he can turn himself into a minigun and destroy enemies. Hmm, sounds good to you. And now there is the uh, the Chomper. The Chomper is my favourite character. He is a melee attacker who can either be sneaky or like full on attack, like the pea shooter. He has a type. He has goop, which is a like, slows down the enemy, so he can catch up to them and eat them. And then he has burrow. He can go underground and then come back up and di di digest the enemy and chew them up. And then he has the spike weed. He can like place down these like mini little traps, and when enemies go over them, it does about like fifty damage to them. It's pretty good. And there is the cactus over there. The cactus is a sniper. He he, he usually camps on buildings and sort puts. He, he usually camps on buildings and snipes. It's pretty annoying, but he's a pretty good character when you get to use him. It, truly, not like camping or anything. He has mines that are basically like mines he can put down when people walk over them. Does like one hundred and seventy five health, which is a lot. And then. He has garlic drone, which is basically a little drone you can send up in the sky to send in like popcorn strikes. It's, it's pretty funny that. And then he has these barriers, like walnut barriers he can put down so he can like have a cover so when sh someone's shooting him he can like hide behind it. It's pretty awesome. And now there's the last plant, the poor little sunflower at the back. A sunflower is a hang back heel of the guys guy guy <laughs> he has he has the sunbeam which is his most powerful weapon he can go root into the ground and then shoot a laser beam at the enemy which is a decent amount of damage and then he has a heal beam he can go to his teammates and heal beam them you can heal beam them and heal them and then he has a plant pot that can Put it down and then gives sunflower to him and his teammates. And he is a pretty good character. And now we are off to the zombies, the assault soldier. He is a full on attack guy, basically like the pea shooter, but he has uh, three abil new abilities like the, the stink cloud, which is like a smoke grenade thing, so he can it hurts the enemies and can provide cover and then he has the ZPG which is a rocket launcher he can use it's really good for taking out P Gatlins because they can't move and you can just easily aim at them and kill them and then he has the rocket jump yes rocket jump is very good he can get to high places easily with one press of the button and there's an ability that he can have two but not go as high but very far though it's really good and now we move on to the All Star. The All Star is a super full on attack person. He has a minigun equipped with this little baby weird zombie that he can kick to enemies and blow the poop out of them. Literally. And then he has this sprint tackle he can like, rush into the enemy and destroy them. With the ultra tackle he can take out a a sunflower in one hit with it is really good very powerful and he has these shields he can put up to take cover behind like the cactus does and now we go to the engineer 
the engineer is a like kind of like backup plan basically instead of walking to the enemy base they can the engineers create teleporters to quickly get to the plant space to take it over and also he has a grenade launcher gun that does um, quite a lot a lot of damage when it hits directly and his abilities are basically like the cactus he has a drone that he can send down cone strikes it's basically like those orange cones but with like bombs on top of them it's pretty funny when you see it but it's not really funny when you die from them and then he has a a jackhammer he can ride a jackhammer to go like about 0 0.5 times his speed faster so we can get to areas quicker like the teleport he can build and he also has a or a shock device it's really good for taking out chompers like he has this like microphone thing when you speak through like that and you go hey how you doing like do speeches and everything like you throws that down and there's a shock wave and then it and then like it confuses anyone nearby for like two or three seconds so you can get like about two shots on them before they wake up and fight back it's really good for using chompers because when they burrow underground towards you they can like try and come up and eat you but like when you have the shock hammer that while well, the underground coming towards you you can smack it on the ground they just come up confused and you can like kill them but obviously maybe the if they're really strong they could goop you and go behind you and eat you that's a problem and now we go to the final character of the game the poor little scientist alone in the back like the sunflower is he got a friend he is a he ha, he is equipped with a shotgun that does massive amount of damage and he he uh, he can heal his teammates with this heal station uh, that's one of his abilities and his other abilities are like a warp he can teleport like behind people and kill them from behind like a p gatton was here like here and then he was he could just go like that and kill him and then he has the sticky explodey balls they're just basic like c4s but like like call of duty ghosts like the ieds they're basically there but like sticky things like you can stick to any surface basically in the balls and he is a very good character for taking down chompers and sunflowers and now and now I will talk about the game types about the game types yes well the first game type is mainly is garden ops garden ops is a like a plants defensive like type of game mode basically there's three places you can put your garden when you're a plant and then when you choose one you have to defend it for 10 rounds of zombies and each five five rounds like f round five and ten like this zombot slot will come and like it'll come on randomly anything and if and there's like different types of ba bosses ba bosses <laughs> bosses bosses you can like try and fight and it's pretty hard when you're on like a high difficulty and everything like that. You have to use teamwork to win. I nearly completed the hardest difficulty with my mates, but now we failed on the last one on round 10. And I hope you enjoyed my review of Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare Opposite Version. Okay. And I and I will see you soon later, and I will leave you with the back cover of Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare. And thank you for watching. If you stay, if you stayed through all this way, because I'm not sure if anyone would watch through this way, because I'm just a newbie at YouTube and everything like that. I'm not sure if this evil will go on YouTube because it may get rejected or something like that. I don't know. And. And like and subscribe if you want to. I'm not gonna force you. I just like I want to like become a famous reviewer for games. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon later. New videos coming out soon if some people watch this. All right. I will see you later. Bye.
Bye.